everyone so I'm gonna go ahead and start this video basically with my background already being done in PowerPoint I'm not gonna go over all of that I'm assuming that you know that part um, so I'm just gonna get right into the nitty-gritty of how to uh, create a self-correcting Google slide okay so I am almost at the end this is my last slide that I actually have to put in uh, for this product but uh, the way that I'm going to show you how to do it it's going to work for every slide that's in your presentation so you'll do the exact same thing for however many slides that you have or however many problems that you'll have so you'll you'll see what I mean in a second okay so before you see me move anything on screen what I'm doing is pulling up I already have my um, my resource kind of mapped out um, in my notes on my phone so I know this is accounting activity so I already have written down like which slide you know what they'll count what the number will be whether it'll be 10 sprinkles nine sprinkles since we're counting uh, sprinkles on donuts and then I already have written out like what those three bottom choices are going to be and then I mark each one off as I go and that's the only way to keep myself sane as I am doing this okay so here we go so first I'm going to go to PowerPoint okay this is slide number 14 so I am going to duplicate the slide and like I said before this is exactly what I've done for every slide that's come before I'm going to go up here I'm going to change my number to 15 um, and then let's see I'm gonna look at my notes and my answer choices are one three and five and the correct answer should be one so we're gonna delete this donut I'm gonna come down here and I already have my clip art pulled up so that I don't have to worry about um, actually inserting it I can just drag and drop and then I'll go back to my presentation it's there then I try my best to center it on the page so that it's not really touching anything but takes up as much space as it can and of course you know you'll design your side however you'd like okay so that looks good for me um, so this is the slide that I am going to now export um, on your computer I don't know if you can save export as PNG but I have a Mac I'm on a MacBook Air and I for whatever reason have to export as PNG so I am going to go ahead and save it as slide 135 and then I'm going to make sure that I save it as a PNG and I don't want to save every slide I just want to save the current slide that I am on I'm going to click export and then that is done then I'm going to go back to Google Chrome and then I'm going to go here and this is the last slide that I created so I'm going to right click and I'm going to click new slide and then I'm going to delete get rid of this and then I'm going to go to background choose image browse and slide 135 it saved in the <laughs> wrong place but it's okay this is the slide I need but I needed I meant to save it on my desktop but it's all good okay so that's my background now I am done with that now the next step is that I want to duplicate this slide I want to duplicate three times one two and three so that I have a total of four slides one two three four that say one three five okay so the first thing that I want to do just because uh, I know this goes to the next slide but now the next slide has moved down and so that link has also moved down but I don't want it to link to 63 I want slide 58 to link to slide 59 because that will take it to the next problem so I'm going to click here right click link to slides in presentation and I want it to link to slide 59 and apply so that is done with that all right so now let me go back to the slides that I just entered right one three five slide 59 so 
what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go back up since I already have my clip art here, my correct check mark. I'm going to go grab my correct check mark. I'm going to copy. And then once again, just for my sanity, for me, the correct slide is always going to be slide number three. And that's just so that I can keep things straight in my head. Now, the correct answer won't always be in box number three. Don't get me wrong. But the correct answer slide will always be the third um, copy of the original slide that I pulled in. And that's just so that I keep things straight in my head. And it's just it just makes the workflow so much easier. So. Okay, so I'm on 62. I have my check mark. That's always going to be my right slide. So it's already there on my one. So this is done for now. Okay, then I'm going to go back up. And then I'm going to grab my incorrect. I'm going to right click. I'm going to copy. And this is just plain old clip art that I uh, pulled in. So my second slide, second copy and third slide are always going to be incorrect. So that five is not correct. And then I'm going to go back to slide 50 and paste. And three is also not correct. And I want to like try to center it as much as possible without covering the three. Okay, so three is not correct. All right, so then I'm going to go back again. And I need to grab my arrow for the last page. So I'm going to right click copy. And remember, my third copy is always my right slide. And it's always going to be the slide that says next. Now, this is my last slide. Um, so you could always put, you know, in game or something else. Um, here in this arrow but for me I am still going to click on my text box I'm going to go in here and I'm going to choose the font that I want now this movable piece could also have been created in PowerPoint and you could have just moved it over um, but for whatever reason I didn't do that so there we go and then what you want to do is you want to select it again you want to right click and you want to hit link and you want to make sure that it is going to the next slide. And the next slide is 63 after this slide. Okay, so that's all done. So check this link. Does it go to slide 63? Yep, that's my next slide. Then I'm going to go back up to the arrow before just to make sure. Does it go to 59? Yep, it says it's linked to 59. All right, now I can go to my first slide that I just pulled in a few minutes ago, slide 135, and now I'm going to start entering in my link. So I'm going to go here to Shapes, click Square, and then I'm going to cover this space. I'm going to fill this square transparent. I'm going to outline the square transparent. I'm going to go back, right click, Link, and then I'm going to link it to the slide where number one is marked correct, which is slide 62. If I look to the side, I see that it is slide 62 with a green check mark over the number one. And that's where I want them to go if they click one. OK, so then I'm going to go and I'm going to do that again for slide number three. Right click, link. Then I'm going to link to the slide where I see three is incorrect. That is slide 60. Then I'm going to do the same thing for number five. Fill, transparent, outline, transparent, right click, link. And then I'm going to link this to slide 61 where you see five is incorrect. I'm going to apply. All right, and then the next step you need to do is you need a shape over the entire slide like this. And then you're going to also fill this transparent and you're going to outline transparent. And then you're going to right click and you are going to link it to itself. So you're going to link this to slide 59. 
this is what slide you're on. This is the current slide, slide 59. So we're going to link it to itself. And the reason that we do that is so that when students are playing the game and they click anywhere else other than the boxes, it will not progress the slideshow. So, um, so we've linked it to itself and then we're going to right click again and then we're going to go to order and we're going to go send to back. But the reason you're sending that shape to the back is because if you don't and you try to click on any one of these squares, it is not going to work. Okay, so then I go to slide 60 and then I'm going to do the same thing again. I'm going to enter a shape. I'm going to transparent, transparent, right click, link, and I'm going to link it to slide 62. Once again, where number one is correct, apply. Then I'm going to enter a shape again. I don't need to enter the shape over number three because the whole slide shape link is going to take care of that because if they click on the three that is incorrect so we want them to stay on that slide so as long as we have that whole shape link over the slide then if they click on three again it'll still stay exactly where it is it won't progress it won't move so okay then we're going to link five to slide 61 because that's where five is incorrect and apply and then once again we're going to go do the whole shape and we're going to do the same thing fill it transparent outline transparent then we're going to link it to itself so we're going to link it to 60 apply and then we're going to order and send it to back. All right, then we're going to move to the next one and do the exact same thing again. So I won't talk you to death while I do this one. Okay, and I don't need to do number five, so now I'm going to go do the whole slide. And then transparent, outline transparent. Um, oop, link first to itself. So I'm going to link to 61, apply, order, send to back. Then I'm going to go to 62, and this is my last one. So I'm going to go here, do the same thing again. Yes, this is a little tedious, but once you get it, it goes quite fast. So I need this to go to 60, apply, then insert, shape, cover, and transparent. And then I need this to link to slide 61. Slide 61, apply. Then I'm always paranoid, so I keep checking this link, make sure that's working. Then we go over the whole slide. And then we transparent, transparent. And then you want to link it to itself. And that would be slide 62 apply and then order and you want to send it to back okay so now what I do is I go back to the first slide that I entered okay one three five and then I place my hand over the escape key so I can do this quickly and then I go up to the top and I click present now this is slide 59, so I'm clicking around everywhere except the boxes to make sure that if students click, especially around the donut, if they're counting, um, then it's not progressing, it's not moving, then I know I got that link right. Then I go to the next one, slide 60, and I click around, not moving anything, okay, so that one's good. Then I go to 61, present. I click around, it's not moving anything, so that is correct. 
Then I go to 62, do the same thing. Click around, make sure that it does not progress. And it isn't. So I escape, then now I go back to the same slide again and I hit present and then this time I actually click the buttons to make sure that everything's working properly and I click them all several times before I actually click the next. So one is right, I go to next, thanks for playing, play again. And I know that all of the other slides work because I did that exact same test for every slide that I entered in. And that's basically it. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to ask away. Bye.